through they today we will make a transformer starting method for three phase motor using auto transformer these are the contact toys to be used we have three contact toys the circuit of this one is basically the same with the circuit of a star delta automatic star delta It will determine the contactor sequence. Turn on contactor 1 and contactor 2. This motor will receive initial power from the windings of the transformer. Let's say 20, 30%, 40% of the motor's line voltage. It depends on the motor specification. You are going to determine that one. Then after some time this will turn up and CT close transition transformer will take over the voltage across the motor so we have here circuit breaker contactor contactor two. so the motor will receive lower voltage initially then this will take over so that is another way of re reducing the voltage across the motor this method belongs to reduce voltage starters for three phase motor, limiting the starting current, high interest current from induction motor. We will make the basic start stop. So we will turn on one and two. Next, we will add relays and the timer. So these are the contactors. So this one turn on first together with the timer because this will time the starting of motor. Then followed by the last contactor CT. runs out you will have interlock here what will be the interlock it will be CT or the timer you will see this is contactor number two you can label any you want okay if we are going to connect the power circuit it should be like this okay. let's say this is the top of the auto transformer here you will determine this one based on the specification of the motor and the load of the motor and auto transformer has uh, several multi taps there so you are going to choose which which is best for the motor for bigger motors they will do it step by step let's say 20%, 40%, 50% to limit the, to maximize the limitation of the starting current for bigger motors. Next, turn on, turn on, so this will receive The voltage of auto transformer windings why we connect this one here that is star connected this will protect later the circuit from over current because this will take over here so if we don't have uh, isolator here this winding will burn out see this is line one okay you don't have to re to interchange the line because it will reverse the same in auto trans uh, resistor starting this is still a close transition the same with the uh, resistor starting so the motor will not experience open circuit voltage 
Okay, turn on. Turn on. Voltager, voltager, voltager. We can have voltmeter later. We will see if we can measure the voltage. Since this is a solenoid coil, so there will be voltage. This is a solenoid coil, not a lamp. So that is inductive, considered inductive. So we should have voltage here. And when measuring voltage, this is the line voltage, and we will measure the voltage here. Output of the of this stop. So of course, this is lesser than the input voltage. Okay, we'll turn on timer. We need auxiliary contact. Interlock. We will not label the interlock first to see the result. The timer contact will turn off this one and will turn on the CT. So we need timer one here. And this is timer one. The contact will auto change to time delay contact. Let's say two seconds. Two one. K1, K2. We will not place the interlock first. This one's interlock because we are not labeling this one. We can test. We have a good connection here. Line 1, line 2, line Three, one, two, three. We'll see. Turn on circuit breaker. Okay, here the three contactors and in operation. Okay, this is twenty-four volts. There is twenty-four volts. If this in reality, this one. Okay. This one will burn this winding. This one will burn this winding. This one. They are short circuited there. Because we tied this together. So we have to open this one to free up this winding. So the whole winding will be open circuited. There is voltage only at the input. No current there because that is open circuit winding already. This one will take over. So if we are going to stop the operation, two seconds, so we are going to click, 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 click until two seconds. So the voltage here is higher than this one. So lower voltage to the motor of course there, this is only a simulation. Next, 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 next. So timer will turn on, then this one will turn on. We'll see if the winding will experience open circuit voltage. Okay, at this stage, this stage, the winding is always connected. Even if this one is disconnected first, there is always a voltage. So there is no open transition here. No open circuit voltage to the motor. 
otherwise it will experience again mechanical jerking due to the sudden change of line voltage okay we will turn off and add the interlock even timer one only to double interlock you just see there we will make this one one second first to faster the step sequence next turn on turn on the cb okay motor will receive the starting voltage then start the time okay. see th that is open already and the motor still has voltage at that moment you cannot overload the transformer also so you have to cut off that one immediately that's why we place there seconds only then this one will take over from low voltage via auto transformer to full voltage you let the motor start at low voltage to limit the starting current and the full full line voltage will take over if the motor is already starting several tests should be made in actual if the motor can carry the mechanical load you have to choose the specific voltage here and not to derail the torque or starting requirements for the induction motor here there is voltage here there is voltage here so always the motor is connected across the line no open circuit voltage and now this one is not forming a high current there because it's already open and the same voltage now because we have here pole voltage we have here pole voltage of course if we are going to have this one here the same you can interlock this one with ct double interlock but this one is enough uh, keep this one on that is designed for continuous operation same with the contactor you can add interlock for ct no problem if there is extra break or normally close contact Auto transformer. Then 
simulate overload delay again overload delay is here because we are using one motor and do not play uh, you can also place it here where is it uh, there are several ways to connect this one either use the the overload at the top here you can do it or here because this will not trip up under low voltage if the current is very small so that's why several tests should be made uh, if the motor cannot start of course there is also uh, over current but the winding might experience stress and produce over current so it should always be in series with the line it must be connected always in series with the motor winding on the line in star delta the same turn on k1 k2 turn off this one and turn on this one they are basically the same circuit for star delta you can even connect this one under contactor here because this one will not turn off but here no problem because in this case we can see the difference between open and closed transition how is that connect this one under here going to remove this one since they are not turning off we can have this one here because the sequence is not turning off the k1 okay what what does it mean you can connect this one here and you can even connect the overload relay after k1 there are several ways which is accessible in reality it depends on your assembly of course on your panel assembly and here since this one is not turning off you can connect that under that which is which the same uh, operation step Okay. Okay. Open and close. Overload delay simulate. Reset the overload relay in, in reality. Find the mechanical trouble or electrical trouble of the motor while the overload relay is tripping up. Assess the trouble. What should be done? Is this the right size according to the motor specification? Refer to your electrical code IEC or IEEE or any good source of 
electrical engineering and this is it about photo transformer starting thank you please please subscribe and support may you have a happy day